everyone. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 has just officially came out. And if you were a new beginner to the Samsung Galaxy Tab lineup, I'll go and show you and demonstrate exactly how to use this particular tablet. Hopefully by the end of it, you will be not a beginner anymore, but you might be a complete beginner right now. But either way, I'll show you exactly how to use your tablet. Now, number one, the way your tablet is kind of supposed to be used is this particular way. So you have that front facing camera right up here on the top. Then you have your bezels on the sides and everything like that. You're getting a very massive 120 hertz display, which looks very, very beautiful. So this is kind of what the landscape will look on the front side. Now at the very top, technically, if you're looking at it through this way, you're getting a few things at the very top, which is always nice to have. You're getting your power button in the top left corner. So in the top left corner, you're basically getting this power button. Then you're getting your volume up and volume down buttons right here. So these will in tangent allow you to take screenshots and shut down your tab, you know, tab if you want to. In the top right corner, you're getting your card slot where you can go ahead and insert an SD card right here if you want to. So that is something that you can basically do is you can take out your SD card and you can go ahead and put in a you know, micro SD card you know, if you really want to in this particular slot. Now on top of that, at the very bottom right here, you're getting a USB Type-C port. So this is your charging port. This is where you can go through and charge up your tablet if you want to. I would recommend doing it because if you don't, then it's just always going to be dead. But this is where you can charge up your tablet, which is really nice. At the very bottom, you're just getting an accessory slot right here, which allows you to connect the keyboard and stuff. At the very back side, you're getting your dual camera setup in the top right corner. So it's a wide and ultra wide camera. And this particular area right here is where you can go ahead and put your S Pen in. So this is something that's really cool. So you can grab an S Pen, the stylus that comes in the box. You can slot that thing in right here and then we'll go ahead and allow it to wirelessly charge and you can use it just like that, which is really nice. So that is a lot with the exterior. There's nothing super crazy. It's a tablet as you'd probably expect. So that is it on the outside. Now there's a few different ways of turning on your Samsung Galaxy Tab. You can either double tap the display to turn it on or you can click on the power button in the top left corner to basically turn it on or turn it off. You can also double tap on the display to turn it off like this, which is really cool. Now, what you can do here is within the lock screen, there's a lot of cool things to basically do. So your lock screen will always kind of look like this. You'll have your time up here, your date, any notifications or icons or stuff like that, you'll see them right here. So they should pop up here. If not, they can slide down like that. You have your time in the top right corner. And then you also have your widgets on the sides as well. So you have your camera, you have this flipbook, whatever. What you can also do is hold down on your lock screen like this, and you can start to customize your lock screen. So there's a lot of customizing that you can basically do within this particular lock screen. So you can go through and you can like choose your time if you want to, and you can change your you know font of your time like this and make it look a little bit different. You can change the color. You can customize the widgets at the bottom too. So there's a lot of capability that you have here, which is genuinely super awesome. So you can go through, change up whatever you want to here, which again is a super nice thing to have. And whenever you're ready, you can go and click on done and that's it. Your particular screen will then be done basically like this. And that's really all you're going to have to do. So then from here, what you can do is you can basically swipe up and then you'll come into your home screen like this. Now your home screen will almost always look kind of something like this. If you swipe to the sides, you'll have different pages. You'll see, notice that the dock always stays the same. The left side completely will have your little Google news page. So any news and stuff going on with your account, you'll see that here, which you know, whenever, whatever it's associated with you will show up here. And then you'll see a bunch of other stuff here too. Now, what you can also do is you can hold down on a widget and you can go and move these widgets around. So if you want to, like if you want this widget here and if you want this widget like a little bit bigger, you can go and move whatever you want to here around, make things bigger, smaller, depending on what you want to do. You can also remove a widget by holding it down and then you know holding down the widget and then removing the widget like that. You can move any app icons that you want to. You can also hold down on the home page like I showed you, and you can change your wallpaper and style, your widgets, and even get settings and jump straight into settings straight from here. So that is the capability that you have here as well. Now, if you ever want to, you know, let's say you're within an application, right? Let's say you're within the clock application and you wanted to go back home. At the bottom right, there's three buttons. There's the home button, which is in the middle, the recents button, which is that three lines, and the back button. If you wanted to go home, you can tap into that home button and whatever application you're in, you will always come back home. So you can see that's kind of how that works. Now, let's say I was in an application and let's say I wanted to go to, you know, let's say I clicked on this and I wanted to go back to the previous page. What I can do is I can click on this back button and it will take me back to the previous page. 
So that's another really cool thing that you can basically have. You can just click back if you want to, and that will take you back to the previous page. If you ever want to see all the applications that you have in RAM or memory, you can also tap on these three lines right here. It will open up all the applications that you currently have inside of RAM. So that's another really cool thing. And if you want to, you can swipe out of the applications like this, and that will allow you to go and free up some memory inside of your device. So you can click back home and come back here. Now at the very top, you'll see, you know, there's your status bar. If you swipe down from the top right or top left, whatever, you'll come into your status bar and your notification drawer. So this is where all the notifications are basically had. So if you get texts or messages or Snapchats or whatever, all those notifications will come up right here, which again is like a kind of nice thing to have. So you can see all that information here and kind of modify with it. If you swipe down one more time, you'll get into your quick toggles. So these quick toggles are completely customizable. You can turn on or off your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth right up here. You can go and add more toggles here if you want to. You can change your brightness. If you want to screen record or multi-control or turn on airplane mode, flashlight, anything like that, you can do that right within here, which again is a very, very nice feature to have basically right here. Then you have your smart view and device control down there as well, and you can swipe up to basically get out of it. Now, if you swipe up this way, you'll get into your, your application library. So this is where all the applications you have inside of your Android tablet are. So whenever you download an application, all those applications will be stored here. Now, a lot of these applications are self-explanatory. Things like, you know, My Files, this Files app, your Google Play Store will be where you download applications from, your Spotify app. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of self-explanatory. There's not anything super hard to understand, I would say, with this type of tablet. One of the bigger things I would probably tell you, though, for the average person is to get used to a few different apps. The Play Store is one of the main applications you're going to be using to just get started with, because this is where you're going to download all your applications from. So what I'd recommend doing is clicking on the search button right here and to start downloading some applications that you really like. So if you really like Instagram or if you really like Snapchat or if you really like TikTok, just get started of downloading those applications. That's kind of the big thing I'd recommend every single person to do. So whatever applications you want to start downloading, kind of scroll through here, find the apps that you like, and then go and start downloading because chances are you're probably going to have to do it at some point. Now, another application I'd recommend every single person to get used to is the settings application. This app has a bunch of information within it. So what you can do is you can go at the very top and you can search for, if you're ever searching for any specific settings, things like Bluetooth toggles or Wi-Fi or software updates or anything like that, you can search for those within settings and probably find a solution for it. What you can also do is you can basically just scroll through and just get used to some of these settings. Because there's a lot of stuff within this tablet. You have Galaxy AI, modes and routines. You know, within the settings app, there's a lot of good stuff to kind of get used to. So I would recommend just going through here. You don't have to modify anything or change anything, but you can just kind of go through and like I said before, just kind of get used to how these particular settings kind of look like. The big thing though is under software and update, I'd recommend clicking on software update right at the very bottom and then going on download and install and basically downloading and installing the latest update available for your device. I think that is a very important thing for the everyday average person to do because this will allow you to go ahead and have a more secure, more better version of software for your tablet. It's a very good tablet. It's very powerful. So I'd recommend every single person to just kind of get used to it, you know, learn how to kind of learn how to kind of, you know, just update your tablet whenever you can. And that's another very big thing I'd recommend doing too. So those are kind of the main ways to go and use your Samsung Galaxy Tab S10. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.